Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series figure review. We've got the next one up in the Gaming Greats lineup. Uh, I got the message this morning from Zing, my local Zing, to say that my pre-order had come in, so I probably waited for my lunch break and then went and picked it up like a responsible person, um, <laughs> as opposed to doing it in work time. But no, it was, uh, yeah, really happy for this one to come out. I saw Sci-Fi put his review up the other day, so I'm, I'm definitely going to check his, out, his video out and sort of see what his thoughts were. Yeah, been, this one's sort of been out in, you know, different areas of the world for a little bit now. Um, but yeah, nice to finally be hitting up Australia. Uh, this one is one I've been looking forward to. And, you know, I've always complained about gaming grades, sort of having that extra $10 price tag being 55 bucks. Um, but yeah, for some reason, this one was only 45. Um, not sure what happened there. The pricing, something went wrong or right with the pricing. So I remember seeing when they first listed it online, I thought, oh, finally, they're going to um, adjust those prices. But no, they, uh, it was just a one-off for some reason. So I'm calling it Umbara because I know Umbra is uh, sort of a term meaning sort of dark or in the shadows sort of thing. Um, but the planet is Umbara. So I'm not sure what happened there, whether it is meant to be Umbra. Um, I haven't played Battlefront 2 for a little while, so I, I could probably jump on and have a look. But um, yeah, I just, I don't know. <laughs> feel like it would be cooler as Umbara, you know, being that we had a whole arc of it in the Clone Wars. Um, but yeah, not sure whether they've actually, you know, canonically called it Umbra. Um, for this sort of style of trooper, you know, obviously working in the shadows, a bit darker, got some awesome looking armor. Like I love the color work on this, it looks so sweet. And uh, you know, we're, it is just a sort of a repaint of Echo. Uh, not sure when the head's gonna be removable, the helmet's gonna be removable, I don't think so. I haven't actually watched any reviews of this one yet, but um, we're gonna open this one up and have a look. So I'll be right back with the figure in hand. All right, here he is out of the packaging. And yeah, like I said, it is a repaint of Arc Trooper Echo, um, which is fine. It's no problems at all. Uh, the head is glued on this time. So there is just sort of a, a it is the clone sculpted head, but it is sort of molded in black plastic, just so you can, uh, you, you know, keep the head as is. You don't need to take the helmet off and that's fine. Um, the backpack is also glued on, I think. Whereas I think the Echo, I ended up gluing it on myself. But maybe it was glued on in the first place, I can't remember, but um, yeah, it's looking pretty damn good. I really like the uh, the paint markings on this one. Slightly paler yellow there on the on the upper arm there than the rest of the sort of yellow, but it's not a big deal, I suppose. Not sure, even sure if the camera is really picking that up. The sort of different tones of yellow, like there's, you know, it's a little bit more custody I guess but um yeah really loving the look of this armor I think it looks awesome it does just come with the two blaster pistols but, you know that's that's all right doesn't need any more than that feels good in hand like plastic wise it just feels good I wish they'd uh, mold a, a trigger finger for the other hand. You know, yeah, with a trigger finger, it usually means that I either slice a little bit off the weapon or I slice the finger so I can set, put the finger through the trigger, um, trigger hole. <laughs> but yeah, I'll worry about that at some point. But yeah, nicely done. The nice, the new clone mold, which is brilliant. Uh, the unique sort of legs to this mold as well, lower legs for the ARC Troopers. Sort of the ARC Trooper gauntlet there as well, which is nice. Yeah, I just really like the look of this figure. I think it looks awesome. Love that sort of Yellow and black, it's a skull shape. It'd be cool to see this all on black. Just to sort of see what it looks like. There we go. Do 
dim the color down a little bit. Yeah, check that out. Kind of just sort of see the armor a little bit, but yeah, the yellow sort of really standing out there. Looks really cool. Zoom in a little bit too. That's cool. Really, really like that. It's fantastic. So yeah, I know there's a three and three quarter one inch one on the way. I know a lot of people have got that one already as well as a couple of others. Uh, that's one, yeah, definitely want to get the three and three quarter inch one as well. Because it looks fantastic. Um, but yeah, really happy to have the the black series version of this guy. You know, more art troopers, the better. Love them. Love the phase two clones, art trooper clones. Just give me a art trooper Jesse already, please. Thanks, Hasbro. You're good, good, good people. Focus. There we go. So yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Please send out in the comments below. Always enjoy hearing your thoughts and feedback and all that good stuff. Hope you've all had a fantastic week. Time to relax. And we'll see you on the next video. So please, may the force be with you. Till then, I'll see you then.